What was Nissan's 5 millionth vehicle at the Canton assembly plant? When will the Transit Trail Van be released? What's up with GM Energy? And what results topped our second annual safety study? I cover all of that and more in the 71st episode of our top news recap from Trek Chat. I'm Lauren Fletcher, executive editor of Work Trek. Let's take a moment to check out the top work truck and van fleet news highlights as of October 13th, 2022. But before I continue, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. Starting out with automaker news, Nissan celebrated the production of 5 million vehicles at its Canton vehicle assembly plant. According to the automaker, this milestone represents nearly 20 years of Nissan manufacturing in Mississippi and paves the path for electric vehicle production, part of the company's long-term vision, Nissan Ambition 2030. The 5 millionth vehicle off the assembly line was a Nissan Frontier. Nissan started production earlier this year for the 2023 model, which features a starting MSRP under $30,000. A 4 millionth vehicle was announced back in 2018. The Canton assembly plant opened in 2003 and brought automotive manufacturing to Mississippi for the first time and has since contributed to the state's economic development. And GMC also announced updates to the GMC Sierra HD for the 2024 model year. In 2024, GMC launches the first ever heavy duty Denali Ultimate trim, as well as an off-road optimized Sierra HD AT4X trim later in the model year. The 2024 Sierra HD lineup includes 2500 HD and 3500 HD models in regular cab, extended cab, and crew cab configurations, with dual rear wheel models available on 3500 HD. They support the lineup's highest trailering capacity up to 36,000 pounds. Inside, GMC added new interiors on SLE and SLT trims, as well as GMC premium interior designs for AT4, Denali, and Denali Ultimate trims. The available enhanced 6.6-liter Duramax turbo diesel paired with the 10-speed Allison transmission now delivers 470 horsepower at 2,800 RPM and 975 pound-feet of torque. Specifically, GMC noted that low-end torque production increases up to 25% compared to the current model for improved towing performance. And in van news, this November, Ford Pro will introduce the 2023 Transit Trail Van. It will be designed with new adventure-seeking capabilities as well as updated interior and exterior enhancements. The van will be ideal for do-it-yourselfers and distributors. It will be a turnkey canvas direct from the factory. The announcement was made via Twitter by Ford Pro CEO Ted Canvas. Transit Trail will be assembled in Missouri, home of the Kansas City Assembly Plant, alongside Transit and E-Transit vans. Moving to alternative fuel news updates. General Motors once again made a splash in the news with the announcement of a new business unit called GM Energy. The automaker also introduced Ultium Commercial, which in combination with the existing Ultium Charge 360, creates a holistic ecosystem of energy management products and services. GM Energy's connected product and service offerings are designed to offer cohesive energy management for home, commercial, and EV customers with solutions ranging from bi-directional charging, vehicle to home and vehicle to grid applications, to stationary storage, solar products, software applications, cloud management tools, microgrid solutions, hydrogen fuel cells, and more. WorkTruck reached out to GM for more information. Mark Bull, GM VP and head of VT, uh, V2X and Battery Solutions noted that as part of GM's Energy's planned offerings, Ultium Commercial will introduce a variety of products and services which will allow businesses to manage their energy more efficiently and even keep their operations running at times when power from the grid is unavailable. In vocational fleet news, BHP's Janssen Mine just got a new fleet of battery electric vehicles. BHP awarded a contract to Normat Canada to deliver a large fleet of multi-use battery electric vehicles to the Janssen Potash project in Saskatchewan, Canada. The Normat fleet order follows on from Sandvik Mining and Rock Solutions being awarded a contract by BHP to deliver 10 underground battery electric loaders along with one electric tethered loader for use at Janssen. With the mine's pursuit of electrification of mobile equipment and technology that mitigates natural gas emissions, Janssen is expected to emit about half the average CO2s per ton of product compared with the average Saskatchewan potash mine, according to BHP. And in safety and research updates, do you know if your truck fleet is truly safe? The second annual fleet safety study conducted in partnership with sister publication Heavy Duty Trucking has concluded, and Work Truck collected some of the top findings for your planning and reference. The survey results show that most fleets operating class one through five trucks have very similar challenges and needs. 
looking at the larger Class 6 medium duty trucks, things started to change. Among some of the top findings when looking at insurance costs, not one truck fleet respondent noted insurance costs decreased, probably not a surprise. But around 29 to 30% of light and medium duty fleets noted insurance costs remained essentially unchanged. And in a long list of potential safety strategies, the top five answers for light duty and medium duty fleets were well-maintained vehicles, written safety policies and procedures, driver training, stricter driver hiring standards, and a focus on a safety culture. Check out the link below to see the full survey results. Thanks for listening to this week's episode of Truck Chat. This is only a sampling of the major news for work truck and van fleets that we covered this week. To read it all, head on over to worktruckonline.com and register for Bobbit Connect so you can sign up for our newsletters. And don't forget, check out the rest of our YouTube channel, subscribe to our podcasts, and follow us on your favorite social platform so you never miss an update from Work Truck.